Hey guys, Jared here, and this is the Azul Byte Plus. Now, first off, before we get into the performance and the general specifications of this computer, let's go ahead and talk about the design, which I think is one of the biggest selling points for this computer. So on the top of the computer, you have a metal little plate, which just feels nice in the hand when you're picking it up and stuff. It feels nice, it also gives it a cool look rather than having it as a shiny plastic all the way around, which is something that a lot of people do, but it is actually a nice having that metal on the top. Now, along the sides right here, you have a pretty nice quality plastic laced with a shiny glossy plastic which in my opinion doesn't look the best but it does add a little bit of flair and I can see why they did it then also you have the Azul button which is also your power button so you can go ahead and click that to power it on it's blue if it's on and it's red if it's off nothing special then we have the byte plus logo down here at the bottom and it's got a very nice minimalistic look to it now on the back here this is all your ports so it comes with two USB 3.0 ports one USB 2.0 port HDMI port Ethernet port headphone jack and all also a VGA port and of course you have the power port. Now one thing I do want to mention here is it is very nice to have the inclusion of so many ports on this little tiny computer. Now also fun story here is I actually had to do a presentation. Now normally I would bring my laptop to do the presentation with but I didn't have the proper dongles to work with the projectors that they had so it was actually nice to bring this along and have the included ports on there. I had to use the VGA port. So that's just one application to this is you can easily take this along with you and do some presentations with. All you need to bring is a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard as it does support Bluetooth. And also when setting up this computer for the first time it's going to take you through the Windows 10 process. As I said this is a Windows 10 device. So what you need to have in order for this device to work is make sure that you have a wired mouse and a wired keyboard. That's just so that you could get things working properly. But there is Bluetooth in here so if you're trying to use a wireless mouse or something you can definitely use that. Now also on the back here you have a little Wi-Fi antenna so yeah now for myself I actually have my Wi-Fi router all the way at the other end of the house uh, so that's probably a hundred feet from where I'm sitting right now so the Wi-Fi band has had troubles picking up on my Wi-Fi because it were just so far away but if you're close to the Wi-Fi, there's no issue. Now, both of the models that you buy come with 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, and that's actually 32 gigabytes of free storage after Windows 10 is uploaded. So it's a little bit more like 50 gigabytes of onboard storage, but that's besides the point. So obviously you're gonna need to add some more storage on this thing. So what Azul did is they have a micro SD card slot right here. So you're able to buy a micro SD, which there are like options such as a 256 gigabyte option, which I'll leave in the description down below that you can buy for this computer and there you have it so now you have a 280 gigabyte option or if you buy an external drive like I have you can go ahead and add a terabyte onto that so even though there's only 32 gigabytes of onboard storage don't be afraid of that uh, you'll be able to expand it pretty easily now finally let's just go ahead and get into the performance of this thing which I must say I am pleasantly surprised with now on the inside it comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM or 4 gigabytes of RAM I know that's not that much RAM but I just want to say that the RAM doesn't make or break the computer. Although I would definitely recommend going for the 4 gigabytes of RAM version rather than the 2 just because a little bit of speed is a little bit better. But really what RAM allows you to do is handle more processes at once. Uh, memory management and a lot of other things have gotten a lot better because of the CPUs. And inside of here we have the Intel Cherry Trail uh, quad core processor. So that is actually a very respectable processor inside of this thing. So this processor, as I've been reading around, is actually something comparable to that of what's inside of the MacBook. Not the MacBook Pro, nor the MacBook Air, the MacBook. Now actually looking at the MacBook specs, it, the MacBook actually comes with a dual core processor rather than a quad core processor. So again, if you have more RAM, it'll be better, but working with two or four gigabytes of RAM is pretty easy. If you have a lot more RAM, you're gonna be able to handle more tasks at a time but having two or four gigabytes of RAM should be good enough for most daily tasks. And as for graphics performance, it's integrated inside of the CPU. Uh, I found that handling light games is very smooth, it's very nice. So if you're playing like the OG StarCraft, you'll be perfectly fine, or if you're playing Candy Crush, you'll be perfectly fine. But as for any intensive gaming, I wouldn't count on it. So I've used this computer for a little bit of programming as well as searching the web, and I found that the experience is quite smooth overall. So there you have it, that is the Azua Byte Plus in a nutshell. Now my main question with this computer is who is it for? Now being the computer tinkerer that I am, I'm probably going to upload Linux onto this computer and create a server system out of it. I think that would be a very 
handy option for this computer, especially it being so small, I could just go ahead and place it right there. I could stack them up on one another and just have a giant server system of these little computers. I think that would be very cool. I noticed a lot of people like doing that with their Mac minis, so I'm thinking this might be a cheaper route and a pretty cool route to go. Now for the normal people out there who are just going to be using this on their day-to-day -day life, who would be using this? So I definitely recommend this to someone that is looking for something light in their life. So if you're just doing some text editing, if you're doing some web browsing, if you're watching videos here and there, it's gonna be a great option for you, especially at the price point of only $200. I mean, this is a computer that is better than something that I started my programming out with. So if you're just wanting to get into programming, I would highly recommend it. If you're into doing some light gaming, you look at the news every once in a while, you are a writer, that would also be a good option. Another thing that I haven't pointed out enough is this thing is fanless. So it is absolutely silent throughout your day. So if you're a recording person, that also might be a really good thing for you to look into. So you could just have this thing on your desk, have it absolutely silent and be recording some audio or something like that. So that's just one thing to know. If you don't like having a bunch of fan noises going on, uh, this is a great computer for it. Now also it being fanless, you might be questioning the dispersion of the heat. And what I've noticed, it's pretty cool when just using it in like normal web browsing, but when you get into high intensive tasks, it gets a little bit hot to the touch on the top here, but I would probably say it's no big deal. Especially this isn't a laptop, so you're not gonna have it on your lap. Uh, that's not a lot. That's gonna be constantly touching your skin, so it's nothing to really be worried about. But again, the computer overall, it's $170 to $190, which is a price to me that is very nice. So you can get the Mac Mini for around $500. And I've used this in the Mac Mini, and I would say this is very comparable to that Mac Mini. So I would definitely recommend this thing. It's very cheap, very nice. I'm gonna be turning it into a server system, which I am excited about. But either way, there you have it. That is my review of the Azul by Plus. Let me know your thoughts on it. I think it's a very awesome little computer, especially it's cheap, it's something that you can take with you, it's very nice. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.